Climbing Mount Fuji with Sean <laughs> and learning accordion. That's pretty good. That's true. That was that was impressive. Climbing Mount Fuji was hard. It was difficult for me, not for her. <laughs> yeah, you were a little bit behind, lagging, dragging your feet. She's she's quite athletic. That's when apparently we went up as fast as the Marines, the Australian Marines did. The, the scout, Australian Army. The scout that went with us said the only people that went up as fast as we did were the Because we made it in six and a half hours, and normally it takes a full day. Yeah. But she's a bit nuts. I was running after you, though. Um, well, there was once a period of our lives where we had a week to just write songs in our pajamas and play video games and watch every single episode of Twin Peaks back to back. That was paradise, wasn't it? That kind of, we didn't realize how happy we were back then, but now we're so busy that I realized that was heaven. Yeah, we definitely like, we like being able to be in nature and uh, play instruments. That's basically all we require. And video games. I also think that we'd really enjoy surviving in the forest. We want to take a, a wildflower and uh, edible, edible wildflower survival course and try to go into the wilderness and see if we can survive for four days. On wild flowers? Why do we have to only eat flowers? I mean, there's tubers and mushrooms Well, and tubers berries. are roots. He's like, no, you know we can only I mean. eat flowers. <laughs> wild flowers and plants. And, yes. And Actually, we did, I guess it's crazy, but we did pick some mushrooms recently upstate and cook them and eat them, and they were delicious, and we did not dive. Well, because they were puffer cordage. mushrooms. They're, they're not hard to identify. They were pretty good. Sorry, what was that question even? <laughs> what is your idea of happiness? Tangent? Oh, yes. I think we would really be happy surviving in the forest. Building really a tree so. house. Yes, we're building a tree house next summer. And then we'll be happy. When we finally have our tree house. Tree houses are good. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> I like broad, <laughs> toxic bones. <laughs> Nice clavicles. I think it's your question first, and then um, I say no. I, I I like politically incorrect people, or is it unpolitically correct? I don't think it's the latter. Um, yes, politically incorrectness is a very charming quality. Really? <clears throat> um, in a woman. <sighs> I mean, all my best friends tend to be women. I, I'm surrounded by very intelligent and powerful women, so. I tend to like women who are intelligent and powerful. That's, That's so passing. It is, I know. <laughs> this is the dawning of the age of the bimbo. This is the dawning of the age. In my case, it's the word basically. <laughs> I found out. I think I say basically in order to think of what I'm about to say. That's so if I ever say word. basically, that's me thinking. We recently saw a video played back of him and within a two minute clip he used the word basically 47 times. About. What about you, darling? Me, I never overuse any phrases. No. <laughs> never. Yodeling. That's definitely, true. Definitely I would like to be able to yodel. Yodeling is impressive. I wish I could do that too, actually. And get a better tone when I blow on bottles or do the, the little ring on the, the crystal glass. You're that so good at so all hard. those useless talents. So I'm so useless? Jealous. Kind of offended. <laughs> oh, I, I don't want to sound like a sound pretentious, but I like uh, the poet John Shade from this Nabokov novel, Pale Fire. <laughs> I know, I don't know. I, that is true, though. <laughs> I like uh, Nash Odysseus and, and Mononoke from How Miyazaki movies. Oh, I thought they meant fiction like literature, but I guess if it's any fiction... It can be any fiction, come on. Superman... No. Mononoke is pretty awesome. The first time you see her appear in the film, she looks over her shoulder and stares at the guy and spits out some blood out of the side of her mouth that she's been sucking from the wound in the wolf. That's Charlotte's Heroes. Princess Mononoke. It's true. You can kind of tell she gets her whole style from Mononoke Princess. The fleas, you mean? 
Um, who else do we like in literature? I mean, it's not literature, fiction. Yeah, Princess Mononoke is pretty good. I'll settle with that one. Does your love go down mm. Peckish. <laughs> I'm a bit hungry and a bit tired. We've been, we've been trying to mix an album and also film a short film over the last three days. And it's I know, yesterday I went to go buy tiny. one of those tandem bicycles for two people, you know? And then I had to spray paint it to make it look antique. For props. And so we're very tired. Yeah. That's, I'm tired. I'm a bit tired. Mm. And peckish. Oh